and the differences are subtle. Hey everybody, welcome into Home Fix. My name is Loretta. I just heard that there are some brand new Japanese maple trees that have just dropped into this facility today. We're at Portland Avenue Nursery in Tacoma, Washington, Zone 8B. So I want you guys to check out what I'm going to be checking out right now. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for more content just like this. Hit the like button, of course, and then comment below as we get going. We're gonna take a look at Red Dragon Japanese Maple Trees versus Crimson Queen Japanese Maple Trees. And what is the difference? What's really going on? Okay, everybody, let's take a look and see what is happening. These are all fresh deliveries. I'm so excited to see what the lot looks like as far as what they received. Now these are beautiful conifers. Look at the look at the color vibrancy. So everybody, I'm gonna ask Miss Vicki, she is the Outreach and education. education Coordinator for Portland Avenue Nursery. And I'm looking at all these gorgeous Crimson Queens and Red Dragons, and I'm like, what's the difference? So I would just like her to speak to that a little bit as to give us a little education on those two trees. They are very similar. 
both of them have dark red purplish looking leaves and both of them stay small in 10 years they won't get more than like five feet if that and the main difference I believe that over here we have a red dragon and over here we have a crimson queen and the differences are subtle a red dragon appears to be a little more upright whereas the crimson queen tends to be a little more horizontal if you come and stand where i'm standing okay. so you can get both of them in the frame okay crimson queen yeah red dragon mm -hmm. you can see the this, this whole row is crimson queens this row is red dragons you can see the subtle differences yep can y'all see it hit that button down there and let me know in the comment section if you can see the difference between a crimson queen and a red dragon the structures are different. There's more uprightness with the red dragon as compared to the crimson queen. You can see it's more spread out, more branched, branched out kind of structure to it. How about their hardiness? Like as far as um, how they do when it comes to spring, so we're going into spring, so how do they perform in comparison? Are they pretty similar? Yes, Okay. they are. They both just get leaves and yeah. stand out there looking happy <laughs> we love that <laughs> awesome is there anything we should know going into the springtime um, as far as care in regards to these trees nothing really comes to mind as long as you've planted your tree mm -hmm. carefully um, you should be all right they're just happy little characters that just grow yeah they're pretty resilient I have the crimson queen at home and it's 17 plus years old and just like whatever i do to it it still comes back gorgeous beautiful lush and mm -hmm. vibrant yes. every year so i love them what do y'all think let me know there they go again the japanese maple trees in regards to crimson queen and red dragons that was fun all right y'all let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section hit that like button comment and subscribe to the channel for more i will be back here at Portland Avenue Nursery later in the season. Once these leaves get to going, get to blooming, it's gonna be outstanding. Y'all see all of this content they have, just wait until all of the leaves come in. I'm so excited. I will see you guys on the next video of Home Fix. Check out some of the other videos in the playlist for Japanese maple trees down below. Bye y'all.